So we're just going to give you some ideas um, for what you can do either personally with stuff around your house or you can do from the thrift store or you can just be on the lookout for when you're at the Pirate Festival there may be somebody there who's selling something that you just really like. So uh, if you want to be a captain, you got to have a frock coat. So we do have some examples of some pretty ornate frock coats. You don't have to be that ornate. Um, but if you're going to be a captain, you probably want to go with a little nicer uh, fabric, a little heavier, um, something with a little more bling. So uh, the trims are very You, you want to have a waistcoat. Um, again, it's all in the fabrics. The, uh, if you go with a little nicer fabric, you're going to have a little more status. So, um, so for the men, that kind of generally wraps that up, what, what their base costume would consist of. They would have shirt, pants, they might have a waistcoat, they might not, um, or and a frock coat. Um, those are the things that you would typically find on a man, boots and or shoes. Um, I have also seen rope sandals. Of Moving on. For the women, there really weren't women pirates. There were a few, but they would dress as men because it was safer for them to do so. They were usually disguised. Um, they didn't typically wear dresses. They certainly didn't wear corsets on the outside of their shirts. Um, however, in this day and age, that's what we're doing because that's how we have typically seen most of, this is, you know, our imaginations at play. This is how we usually see women pirates. Um, you see most of these ladies have pretty high neck shirts. That's not always the way that it is. Um, however, a lot of lady pirates like to wear the more Victorian looking, um, the jabots and the, the, the cravat looking uh, fronts to their shirts with the corset over the top. They also wear bodices, which are more laced up vests. So you can wear either. Um, the corset over the top and, and the long skirts. And if, for the more formal piratey look, it's nice to have a long skirt with maybe a little underskirt that you can kind of pull your skirt up a little bit or leave a drape over the top of it. Some of, some of the lady pirates are wearing the drapes or bustles over the top of their pants. So. You can also do that. Again, you can't go wrong. And pull up your the um, overskirt so that you can see the, and wearing a frilly underskirt is also making it a lot more fun. So you'll see the different colors and layers and that is something that makes your costume stand out. So um, you can also wear the over drape, which also gives the layered effect. And as you can see down at the bottom, and I, so with the accessories, the accessories include anything that you would put on extra. So, of course, it's good to have some jewelry, especially if you're if you're duding up to go out and you're a pirate. You're going to want to have some jewelry, some bling to show off that you've you've gone out and done your pirate. Like that. Beads are especially nice. Anything with stones, um, you know, would be great. Uh, an earring, even two. Uh, they weren't limited to one earring, but feel free to wear both. And uh, feathers are great. And then the pirate hats, there are a variety. These are just the tricorn, bicorn, um, cavalier hats. <laughs> However, there are any number of piratey type hats that you can find and you can see that we did. You can wear a bandana, you can wear a little do-rag, and I've got a whole bunch of those, and I'm gonna have some at the at the fair as well, um, that you know have some skull and crossbones and, and different things. You can just wear that. And you can wear that with some beads wrapped around or another scarf wrapped around. You can do do a number of things. Yes, you do not have to wear a full hat. So um, so feel free to do really interesting things. And with the eye patches, I mean, you can go boring. You can go boring with the, a black eye patch if you want to be that kind of pirate. Or you can, um, you can jazz up your eye patch. For instance, this is a hand-tooled hand leather eye patch that went for quite a